I'm doing some seated guard versus standard standing guard passing with my son. He's 29 years old. Probably he's really good. Uh, he's got great passing. So I'm trying to get into my offense as fast as I can. I just come up with a single. I know if I'm on my back, it's going to be really hard for me here. So I have a chance to put him down and score two. Get great balance. So I have to frame on his head here because I was afraid he was going to enter into a sweep against me. Uh, I got to keep him off balance. I get him down and now I get a good grip on him here. So now I want to break him down forward. He's in this four point. So I have to keep my left knee there behind him here. If I don't, he, he might be able to roll me with sort of a far side arm roll or he might be able to grab me. So I'm trying to keep my, that knee behind. What I should be doing that I'm not doing is I should be putting my left foot on top of his foot. That'll help me break him down. Uh, so, and I probably should have a grip more toward his shoulders. Although I'm putting a lot of weight on him here, I'm really not doing this breakdown properly. Now he gets to his feet. Now I have to get back to the leg. I try to punch him down again. I get back up. Now he's gonna get away from me here because he's gonna stand on my thigh and kick out. So now we switch. Now I have to pass this young blood's guard. He can, I gotta be careful he doesn't enter into my legs. He's got good leg locks. So I have to keep the appropriate distance. Don't let him connect too easily to my legs. So here, I'm gonna snap him down. I feel like I'm in a good position right here because I was able to snap him down. I got a front headlock. He immediately pulled half guard here. So I still feel like I'm in a pretty good position. What I really want is my left knee to come over to his right hip. Let's see if I start to do it. Yeah, look at this. I got a grip on his neck. I got my knee on his hip so I can pin him to his back a little bit. Here's where I make a mistake though. I probably should have let go with my left hand and faced out and drove my knee across and try to mount or, or get a good amount attempt. Instead, I kept my hands connected on his neck. That's gonna allow him to push my knee back across and take the top position. So, yep, there, he, he's got a hold on my knee. So my knee's no longer a sip. Now he can come up. Now I'm stuck on the bottom here with this lousy arm and guillotine. I'm trying to get back to my knees, but he's controlling my legs really effectively. And then he puts me on my back off screen. So now we start again. Uh, now I'm on the bottom again. Let's see what happens here. I, sh I should do what I did last time, just get up on that single as fast as I can, but nope. I, I think I'm gonna be able to get two butterfly hooks in here. So I feel like, oh, I got great position. I got my two feet inside, I got double under hooks. But my son does this amazing job here of scissoring his legs. And look how he's turning my hips. He actually has my feet crossed. So although they're inside, they're not really very effective at all because they're crossed. So. I'm just trying to figure out what to do here, trying to straighten my feet out, trying to keep the double underhooks. Um, I probably should have just tried to elevate him more over my head, but my feet were crossed. Now, at one point, I think I get my feet uncrossed. Yeah, now I try to go into this pinch headlock position, but it's, not, it's he's not letting me do it. So I should have probably tried to elevate him right here, but meanwhile, He's exhausting me. It's hard to tell, but he's making me work really hard. My hip flexors and my lower abs are just getting fried right now. I'm, I'm starting to get toast. And it's just, it's just a horrible position to be in where you can't be effective. You're losing position here. I'm just trying to, now I'm bailing on this and I'm just trying to get to any kind of guard. And I'm way behind. Now he's gonna try to Sort of high step so i gotta pull that hand right there i pull i'm pulling his hand his right hand off my body because he wants a base there so then he can step his left leg free if i do that i'm going to be way behind so i'm trying to fight that here and uh i'm not letting that happen but right now the round ends mercifully you can't hear it but the bell just went off i got saved by the bell but he was just about to pass me and i was completely exhausted and that was a pretty poor showing for me and, and my non-existent guard but hey this is what happens sometimes even when you're a black belt you go against these really technically strong purple belts 
and then they make you work super hard 